Imagine if, for the first time, our heroes all lost. This is no place to die. Thanos had his way, and half of the population of the universe has gone. Everyone's doing their best to keep their head above water, but uh, it's it's kind of a losing battle. We lost, and, and we're not used to losing. People are kind of still coming to grips with it. Natasha is a little bit hardened from what she's had to go through. They've truly leveled us, not just literally, but morally and, and, and emotionally. There was no other way. The fans' reaction to the end of Infinity War, when half of their favorite characters turned to dust, really was indicative of how emotionally connected the world has gotten to these characters. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. The good thing is it's always easier to build people back up after they've been broken down. And that, that's what Marvel's great at doing. It's that shred of hope everyone's looking for. We're in the end game now. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. I like this one. <laughs> we lost. All of us. We lost friends. We lost family. Today we have a chance to take it all back. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. What's up, everyone? Welcome to MovieGasm.com. Today, we will be taking a first look at what could be Iron Man's new weapon in Avengers Endgame. Let me hear you say, ow! Ah! That's close enough! A new toy leak may reveal possible new weapons being used by Iron Man in Avengers Endgame and hints at a possible trip with fellow surviving Avengers into the Quantum Realm, an area first introduced in 2018's Ant-Man and the Wasp. The toy is the Titan Hero series Avengers Endgame Iron Man Power FX figure. The description on the toy's packaging teases that Iron Man is wearing new, advanced armor. The toy also comes with a cannon-like weapon attached to Iron Man's arm. The weapon may be the MCU version of Iron Man's Proton Cannon, a fan-favorite weapon from the Marvel vs. Capcom video games. Curiously enough, one of the quotes the figure says is, I have a plan attack, which is a phrase Tony Stark said in the first Avengers movie, right after he flies out of the Quinjet to retrieve Loki from Thor. Stark, we need a plan of attack! I have a plan. Attack. This might be another possible hint of time travel occurring in Avengers Endgame back to the previous iconic MCU moments. Something visibly resembling the proton cannon was seen in the background of the Avengers compound in Avengers Infinity War. And it was also visible in a set photo that the Russo brothers teased was somehow important to Avengers Endgame. Fans initially assumed it would be used by War Machine, but another set photo suggested it would instead be wielded by Tony Stark. It's interesting to note that the Titan figure shows Stark carrying the proton cannon on his left arm, which he was favored in recent movies after sustaining injuries to it. Meanwhile, the Marvel Legends 2-pack features Black Widow and Hawkeye, but with alternate heads meaning the figures can be transformed into Iron Man, Ant-Man, and Nebula as well. This seemingly confirms that the team uniforms will be used by all of those five Avengers, and also that, in an unusual move for Marvel, these outfits are almost identical. To the extent that Hasbro figures, they can do alternate heads or the same bodies. Assuming the Quantum Realm theory is correct, this confirms that all of the main Avengers and Enter the Quantum Realm. Previous merchandise and concept art has already confirmed that Thor, Rocket, and the Hulk get these outfits as well. Do you think Iron Man or War Machine will be the one to use the Proton Cannon in Endgame? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out MovieGasm.com. My name is Blaine, and we appreciate you sticking around until the end.